He led police on a high-speed chase that ended in a spectacular crash, and it was all caught on tape. We'll have an update on the man responsible for the wild ride when 28 Tampa Bay News continues, plus these stories. So Lewis is our hero. He's my daughter's guardian angel. Her little girl is alive today thanks to the quick thinking of a 15-year-old boy. Today, the teenaged hero got a special thank you from the grateful mother. I realized that the trade-in was not very good on my car, so I thought, well, I'd rather sell it myself. But on the other hand, I didn't felt there was a safety factor involved. But now there's a way to sell your car without dealing with strangers who contact you through the newspaper. More about this hassle-free way to buy and sell used cars when 28 Tampa Bay News continues. 28 investigates the Department of Transportation, workers fishing on the job, road signs dumped along the highway. Now, with a garage of its own, why is the DOT sending work to an outside garage operated by ex-cons? We want the opportunity to... to if you you're want. doing good work for the public, tell us that instead of slamming the door on me. Wait till you hear what these DOT contractors are convicted of and you paid for it. Watch 28 Investigates Passing the Buck tonight at 11 only on 28 Tampa Bay News. On a warm summer night, there's nothing like the taste of a WD brand steak. W.D. Brand Beef. Only from Winn-Dixie. The Beef People. I asked you to bring something soft for show and tell, and you made some interesting choices. Don't let them get out, Alex. And I see many of you brought Angel Soft. Is it really soft? Yep, see? Yes, it's very soft. Strong, too. But he's real soft. Yes, well, I think Angel Soft wins. Even Brandon can't beat this. Where is Brandon anyway? I miss the bus. Angel Soft, it's not just a name, it's a feeling. Laura, I have cravings. I'm totally empty without you. Hey, Romeo, eat something. Like the $4 Turkey Melt BLT combo. Four bucks for a fresh, hot, hand-carved Turkey Melt BLT side and drink. Only at Boston Market. Recently, the in-laws dropped in for dinner. Again. So I left a message for my husband to bring home an extra chicken. The Boston Market Extra Chicken for a Dollar Deal. Just buy a family meal and get an extra chicken for a buck. Don't mess with dinner. Hey, nobody but nobody starts a NASCAR race without us. Introducing the Wide Track Grand Prix by Pontiac. Chosen the official pace car of NASCAR. Its wheels are set wide to connect all of its power to the road for better control on any track. The Wide Track Grand Prix by Pontiac. It's official now. Wider is better. Check out the all-new Grand Prix today at your local Florida Pontiac dealer. Working hard to be your favorite. This is 28 Tampa Bay News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, and meteorologist Wayne Shannon. A River Ridge High School student who saved the life of a Pasco County toddler is being hailed as a hero. Two and a half weeks ago, the 15-month-old girl almost drowned when she fell into a canal behind her home. But thanks to some quick thinking by a caring neighbor, little Carrie Stepien is alive and well. Peter Bernard is here to show us the emotional ceremony in which a young man was honored for doing the right thing and knowing how to do the right thing. Huh, Peter? Yes, sir, Brendan. It was May 1st when 15-year-old Louis Navius went to the canal behind his house to do some fishing. Well, he ended up with quite a catch. The junior ROTC student discovered a little girl not breathing, her face blue, motionless in the water. He saved her life. Inside. The little girl's family wanted to do something special to show how much they appreciate what Louis Nieves did. With Carly Stepien entertaining the River Ridge ROTC students, her mother Sue presented a plaque declaring Louis Carly's guardian angel. When all of a sudden you don't know someone and they bring you up your daughter and they bring her back to life, it's an amazing thing. And I just wanted him to know. Thank you. Lewis was somewhat shy about this sudden attention and says he's not quite comfortable with the term hero. I don't really take the credit because I actually think that anyone in my position would have done the exact same thing, but the way they put it, I guess I am. 
A representative from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office was also on hand to recognize Lewis's good deed. The young man did everything right, even though he had no practical training. Lewis jumped in, and he came up screaming, call 911. That was the first thing out of his mouth. And then he started chest compressions. So without us reviving her right at the scene, she would have been dead. Lewis's father is a retired Coast Guard communications expert, and he says saving lives is in Lewis's blood. I'm very proud of him, and what he did, he doesn't really think it was a big deal, but uh, he's a hero. The heroic action was not without danger. There is alligators in the back, and that was the first thing that he thought that it was gonna be a, he was gonna lose a leg or something, oh, wow. <laughs> jumping in the water, but he did what he's supposed to do. Hopefully there won't be a repeat performance of the nearly tragic incident. A newly installed fence surrounds Carly's play area. It's just steps away from the canal that almost took her life. And Lewis's instructor at the River Ridge Junior ROTC is going to nominate him for an award from that organization. Little Carly Stepien is doing just fine and has no health effects from her near drowning. Marty and Brendan? Thanks a lot, Peter. That's Tremendous a, story. That's the kind of story we like to report about mm -hmm. young people, and there are plenty of those kids out there. We just that's don't right. have enough of the stories for no. about them. So, Wayne, did you have a good weekend? I did. I wanted to ask you, did you, did you go, both of you have a good time? It was delightful, yeah, actually. Weather caused no real problems? No. Oh, in fact, Planted I did a little golfing. Flowers? I indulged in your sport this weekend. Right? Did you go golf? Yeah, just a little bit. Are you a yeah. golfer? No, I'm not, but oh. I, I do it anyway sometimes. <laughs> Would you do miniature golf? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's right. The window. <laughs> that's right. Well, I want to show you uh, uh, that the weather has stayed fairly cooperative for much of the viewing area today you're seeing a little bit of sunshine hitting the downtown buildings of Tampa but we've really had a lot of cloud cover we had it over the weekend and we've had it uh, again this afternoon late last week and a good portion of uh, the weekend even into today uh, a little bit uh, most of our cloudiness a good portion of it was caused by an upper level storm anchored over the Gulf it is now starting to move on to the north but we're still getting tons and tons of moisture streaming up from the Gulf that combined with daytime heat and we're getting up into the 80s every day now uh, and our sea breeze fronts have all added up to some afternoon thunderstorms that have popped up as a matter of fact we'll show you those afternoon thunderstorms they have moved from near the coastline and they're moving to the northeast they're not as strong now as they were earlier today we did get reports of some funnel clouds down around Port Charlotte but we're checking the lightning in just the past 15 minutes down around Fort Myers a little bit of lightning eastern Polk County a little bit of lightning but that's it temperatures mostly in the 80s a few 70s in the Panhandle also over on the east coast that's Daytona 87 74, 81 at Orlando, 88 at Sarasota Bradenton, also at St. Pete. Here in Tampa, it is 87 degrees. With the humidity of 61%, it feels like it's 94 outside. Winds out of the west at 7 miles per hour. Our barometric pressure, 2998, and it is falling. Forecast map for tomorrow shows pretty much the same scenario. We're not going to have much change in the next 24 hours. Lots of moisture coming up from the south, and our daytime heating and also an approaching frontal system, an approaching cold front. We're still going to have another cold front come through on Wednesday. So tomorrow looks fairly wet, even a little bit wetter on Wednesday. Then after Wednesday, this front pushes through and the rest of the week looks dry. High temperatures ahead of that front again tomorrow. We will be in the 80s all over Florida. Winds out of the southeast to 10 knots tonight, two foot seas, smooth bay waters and a gulf temperature of 79. Those are the upcoming tides at St. Petersburg Pier. Sunsets tonight at 815 and the UV index from Moffitt Cancer Center an 8.1 tomorrow. That's in the high category. Now, for tonight, lots of clouds, a 30% chance of widely scattered showers. Tomorrow, again, a 30% chance of showers or thunderstorms. 73 the early morning low and 87 are high. Our five-day outlook shows with the front moving over us on Wednesday, a 40% chance of storms, 86. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, partly cloudy skies with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Clearing out a little bit towards the end of the week. Getting towards the latter part of May and still a cold mm -hmm. front coming through. That's, that's kind of neat. Wow. Thanks, Wayne. We have an update for you about that high-speed chase last Friday along the Florida Turnpike. You may recall some of these dramatic pictures as Clinton Hansen led police on a chase that topped 100 miles an hour. It ended when Hansen finally clipped another car and flipped over. He's expected to be released from the hospital in the next few days, but he will be going directly to jail on charges of battery against a law enforcement officer, trafficking cocaine, and reckless driving. Where it's a miracle the other guy wasn't hurt, that nobody else was hurt in that. Accident. That's right. Mm -hmm. Selling your car can be as much of a hassle as buying one. But a new Bay Area business is changing all of that. Car shopping and selling has never been easier. 
I'm Dean Staley. The Shriners are famous for helping children with bone deformities and horrible burns. But now the Shriner organization itself is in need of emergency care. That story at 5.30. If you're going to play in Florida, it's only fair to tell you you're going to encounter sand traps, water hazards, some pretty thick rough, and the occasional divot. And that's even before you get to the course. So it pays to have a Mercury Mountaineer with the most powerful standard V8 engine in its class. Now during Mountaineer sales days, get one with low 4.8% 48-month financing. I see you brought your ball retriever. <laughs> For 4.8 financing, see your Mercury dealer by June 2nd. Can you guess which bait kills roaches in 24 hours? <laughs> to kill roaches in 24 hours, it's Hotshot Maxitrax. <laughs> Maxitrax. It's the no-weight roach bait. Now you can feel good about giving them pizza whenever they want. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. Pizza Bagel Bites. Bite-sized pizzas on wholesome little bagels. Hey, pizza at no time, pizza at the school time, pizza by the tube is so fine. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. Pizza Bagel Bites. Pizza whenever you want it. This is the popular Honda Civic. This is you. The question is how to get you into here with as little of this as possible. The answer is here. Because right now you can lease a Civic DX Coupe for $159 a month for 24 months and an $1,150 down payment. Just don't wait too long because this only lasts till then. And after that, you will be out of this. Still ahead on 28 Tampa Bay News. He was a great old man, very good. He took all the kids around here, fixed all their bicycles for them. Why would somebody deliberately kill the kindly 67-year-old man known around the neighborhood as Pops? Almost two years after the senseless shooting, his family is pushing police to find the person responsible. And... Let all the tension sink into the floor. Can the power of the mind help patients recover from cancer? In our next half hour, meet some people who believe it's possible. What do you do when all your choices are terrific? How do you choose when all your options are great? Like the Harvest Fresh Produce at Winn-Dixie, where every choice, and darn it, there's a lot of them, is just as exemplary as the one before. Gosh, that's when things like quality and variety and too many good choices, quite frankly, can make you crazy. Winn-Dixie, more choices, lower prices. 28 Tampa Bay News, brought to you in part by Dodge Dealers. Cab forward design means these Dodge cars offer you more. More in terms of room, comfort, and stability. Now we've designed a way to give you something less. Less in the way of monthly payments when you select our lowest interest rates ever for 60 months on Neon, Stratus, and Intrepid ES. Or get up to $1,500 cash back. Announcing the National Dodge Sale. It's never been easier to get into the cars that changed everything. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. A new concept in used car buying has made its way to the Bay Area. 28 Tampa Bay's Frank Fraboni takes us to the Auto Exchange Club, where buying and selling can be hassle-free. Tired of spinning your wheels trying to buy or sell a used car? Then you might try this, the Auto Exchange Club. Sandy Phillips did. So how did it work out for you? It worked out wonderfully. We, um, I took their package deal. Um, it was like three weeks on the lot for a certain price. and. Um, I sold the car in about two and a half weeks. A big yellow sign explains just how it works. Sellers pull their car onto the lot here at the corner of Fort Harrison and Druid in Clearwater for a flat fee. Right now, there's a grand opening half-off special of just $18.50 per week. The buyer deals with the club for information about the car, while the seller avoids all the hassle at home. I didn't have people at my business or at my home bothering me, and, and, and it worked out really well. The auto exchange opened two months ago. Right now, 25 cars are on the lot. Everything from clunkers to classics. Cars get fancy window stickers listing features, price, and the owner's name and phone number. When buyers are ready to make an offer, they deal directly with the owner. 
Sergio Wexler is one of the club's founders, and he believes they've found their niche. 50% of the people in Pinellas County, and it's almost nationwide, they don't like to buy cars through a dealership or sell their cars. They normally, if they're looking for a used car or selling a used car, they put an ad in the paper and in a magazine. This is the group of people that we are working with. No annoying used car salesmen and bargain prices. What more is there? Well, there's also free computer background checks for insurance claims, title problems, and appraisals. Okay. People here are hoping the Auto Exchange Club will become the hottest change in the used car market. In Clearwater, Frank Fraboni, 28, Tampa Bay News. For more information about the Auto Exchange Club, you can call this number, 462-CLUB or 462-2582. Some Bay Area kids are being encouraged to actually play with their food. In fact, they're so good at it, they're representing the nation in an international competition. Ira Albers was buried here almost two years ago, but his family still can't find peace. I'm Susan Scarborough at 5.30. Meet the family who's trying to find a killer. It's the end of welfare as we know it. Thousands of people will be cut off to fend for themselves. So how does a single mother expect to support her family without an education? You can go out there and get a job at Burger King and sell hamburgers for five bucks an hour, but that's not going to feed kids, especially at the Ritty. There is help for those who want an education. It's part of welfare reform, but is it working? 28 Tampa Bay's Angie Moreski finds out who's taking advantage and whether it's welfare that works. Tonight at 6, only on 28 Tampa Bay News. Getting more for your money is good. Getting more money is even better. And right now at your local Southern Ford dealer, you'll get both. Up to $2,000 cash back or 3.9% APR up to 60 months. These deals are good on Ford favorites like Taurus, Escort, and Contour. Sold for a never before 60 months of 3.9% APR. Hurry to your local Southern Ford dealer's great percent event. Soon, this sale will be 100% done. being delivered today. Roberts has next day delivery on bedding. You know it's TV or something? It's being delivered today. Roberts has next day delivery on big screen TVs. Got any ice cream or anything? Nope, the refrigerator's being delivered today too. Roberts has next day delivery on refrigerators. Wanna hang out with your brother? Why? He's cute. Roberts, all the comforts <laughs> of home. You know, summers in Florida last a lot longer than summers in other parts of the country. You'd better make sure you're dressed for it. The Bell's Pre-Memorial Day Sale. Shorts, tank tops, t-shirts, short sleeves, and swimsuits. All at prices low enough to get you through the whole season. The Bell's Pre-Memorial Day Sale. Simply Florida. This is the Buick Celebration, a selling event on the totally redefined Buicks. Celebrate an all-new Buick Century. You'll discover six-passenger comfort and a touch of luxury you can lease for $279 a month. Celebrate. Celebrate. Buy Century completely equipped for way under twenty grand and save $4,000 over Camry or Accord. The Buick Celebration. Lord, I'm gonna celebrate. It's a race with a different kind of flair, or should we say flavor. This is the international finals of the Lunchbox Derby in Washington, D.C. Some elementary students from right here in Tampa Bay race their cars, all made from fruits and vegetables. They were one of five American teams to compete against the top team from England. The fourth and fifth graders designed, build, and raced the veggie mobiles all by themselves. I wonder whose uh, tread works the best. Would that be like an apple or a potato or something I don't something know. Like it's got to be a little bit underripe, though, so it's nice and uh, Yeah, solid watermelon wouldn't still, work. That's no. right. It would fall apart. Thanks for making 28 Tampa Bay News at 5, your choice for news. Angie Moreski and Bob Kendrick are up next with 28 Tampa Bay News at 5.30, and we'll see you again at 6. The news continues on ABC 28 Tampa Bay. New at 5.30, they're known for their generosity, helping children in need. But most of the Shriners are older men. Once they're gone, who will carry on their good works? Violent storms swept through the Midwest, spawning tornadoes in and around Chicago. And he was known in their neighborhood as Pops.